Wow. Now this looks like a city. Welcome to Nidavalia, brothers. Hey, dwarves! Oh. They're, uh, running away. An alarm. I'd only sound an alarm like that if I still had my body and was fearing the notion of being detached from it. Why all that for us, though? They are scared. Most definitely an alarm, I'm afraid. Why is everybody hiding? Stay alert. Talk we to you don't for want any trouble, please. There'll be no help, to be sure. Best we find the tavern Sindri mentioned on our own, and hope they let us in. Is that a statue of Odin? They must really love him here. Or fear him. Sindri! Hello! I've returned your surprise, but I did know you'd be here. I've got something for you. What is it, Dwarf? You know, I'm glad I came back here at least once before Ragnarok. Oh, if these cobblestones could talk. Then they'd have mouths. Filthy, disgusting mouths. Do you mind if I fiddle with your bow? Oof, you are long overdue for our replacement. <sighs> Taking advantage of certain material... Ow! Structural sensitivity to sonic vibrations has been something... Uh, I've been meaning to try for quite some time now. Thanks for, uh, finally trying it? What's it gonna be this time? Patience! I find it's best to see these things... Oh, in action! Ah! Whew! There. Oh, take aim at that gate there. But before you loose, say... Skialfa. Well, I certainly didn't expect you to disturb half the creepy crawlies in need of here. How was I supposed to know they were there? Okay, so, Derlin. Sindri, any idea where the tavern is? Do I look like I've ever been to a filthy tavern? The sewer you just punched a hole through seems promising, though. For you. It should lead to the other side of the city. It's not like you're able to open other doors around here. So this lockdown really is because of us? Oh, my, yes. Odin's grip on this realm is so firm, any outsider is considered a threat. Sounds like an Odinism if I ever have one. Another of Cavassia's poems. service.
Nothing appeals to you? Best of luck. Any outsider is considered a threat. Is that to protect the dwarves? It sounds like it. But knowing Odin, there's sure to be an ulterior motive. Well, everyone's hiding on this side too. Odin's occupation of this realm has its hooks in deep. But there aren't any guards patrolling. We're clearly not a threat. Why hide? Resist and you're made an example of. To keep the rest in line. Self-preservation can outweigh bravery for even the strongest of folk. Fear keeps them safe and alive. The Alpha! A firebomb from the chief anti-Odin propagandist in Durland's Rebellion. Quite a sharp wit she had until she turned to subtle means of resistance. Right side, brother! Whoa. Ow! Still standing, yeah? This looks promising, right? That's like a house. If he's here, maybe you should let me do the talking. You. Well, we don't want to intimidate him. You're tall as a tree and you have a severed head on your head. <clears throat> None taken. Fair point, though. Very well. Think that's him? Hello? Watch yourselves. Apparently, there are intruders about. Oh, that's us, I think. Eh, well, if you're planning on killing me, at least let me finish this song. That alarm was in just the perfect key. We're just looking for a friend of ours named Durlin. <laughs> well, we both know that's not true. Durlin's got no friends left. But if that's all you need, head out the back way there and you'll see the safety office just across the river. Just don't go making trouble for the rest of us. And while you travel through this realm, maybe you could clean up the head's mess? What mess? Later, brother. I wish to hear of this mess. The rig's in the bay. Why don't you ask the condescending skull? Head, I've got skin, but he's right. I made a mistake. I'd have us shut them down. Sorry, one more thing. Although, these are gifts I'm giving to you, so I shouldn't be sorry and you should be thankful. Anyways, here, please be careful. It's beautiful. Thanks, Sindri. It is beautiful, isn't it? It's also very useful. You'll be able to find anything your heart desires with it. Really? As long as your heart desires the locations your father and you decide and plot to travel together, then yes. It is a compass. Ah, but a beautiful compass. Now scamper off. Come. A boat cannot be far. 
Huh. Earlier, Sindri made it sound like Derlin was some sort of rebellion leader. Doesn't sound like anyone's following him. Was being the key word here, little brother. A dock back there. Maybe there's a boat we can use to get to Derlin's. There's a building just past these rocks behind me. Maybe we should head that way. Ah, uh, those bloody mining rigs. What about them? The Skald is right to blame me for them. They were my idea. If you've got the time, they're in the bay just beyond this tunnel. I'd particularly appreciate us checking out the mining rigs in the lake to the right. You can see the smokestacks from here. But if you don't want to explore now, it looks like Derlin's place is through that open gate to the left. So, which way do we go? We could prepare more before rescuing Tyr. Up to you. Mimir, were you really the one who had those rigs built? He wanted the dwarves under his control, and, well, I convinced him he could buy their allegiance instead of demanding it outright. A trade agreement of sorts. Now that's a big statue. That dragon sculpture is not bad. First time someone's told me that, I suppose.
That was quite a surprise. What did you expect? That's a fair point. Anyone else notice the dragon broke free right after you used that one relic we pilfered? I smell a connection. That big dwarf statue we saw. Who was he? All these Stonefoot, warden of Sparklefine. He used his wisdom and might to imprison some of the most dangerous creatures in all the realm. can I make for you? And Atreus? By the way, if you're headed to the mining rigs in the bay, could you bring me any slag you find? I could use the material for my crafting.
Mining rigs sure spit out a lot of smoke. One of the mining rigs is here. See the smoke above us? That's where we're headed. Let's see if we can't shut it down. likely chock a block with materials that could help us. I'd grab whatever it spits up in the process. Dwarves agreed to the deal with Asgard. Why do they blame you? I talked them into their own exploitation. They need their choice. Work or die is not a choice. I only made it seem so. <laughs> Brother, before we leave, perhaps it might serve us to check the rig and see if it spat anything up. built to harvest ore for armaments. Essentially harnessing resources that would otherwise go to the dwarves. You think shutting these things down will help the dwarves become independent? I don't know, but I have to try something. No, this is... It can't still be here. What? 
There's a key on this island. I need you to find it, brother. An innocent life is at stake. On your left! Coming from. Oh my wretches. Where are they coming from? Innocent life was at stake. Did Odin trap somebody here? No, lad. I did. <laughs> Rage on the left. looks weak down here, father. That gear. Looks like it was free. Maybe that lift can help us get higher. Might be easier to break that ground from up there. Climbed over to the lift. Break through the ground from up there? We're looking for. Now we must head to that watchtower on the shore. What are you not saying? I just need you to trust me. The 
Ymir, how many stories have you told about Odin and Thor? And all the bad things they've done? Let's see how many we can remember. Seems like Father could use his memory refreshed. My memory of them requires no refreshment. They invaded our home. Yeah, but I'm talking about history. All the other people they've hurt. Let's see. Not now. Can you hear that? No. Thought I heard a voice. Let's keep going, lad. Just put the key into that lock, brother. There. If you could give that drum a good loud strike. That's the voice I heard. I'd hoped it would have escaped by now, but... We'll need to free it from its restraints. <sighs> what is this? A Loonbocker. I captured it many years ago. For Odin? Yes. I thought it an imaginative and eye-catching way to earn his favor. It worked? That it did. Creature, you enslaved it. Aye. But why? Because I was young and stupid. And I didn't know what it was like to be chained in one place for years at a time, with nothing to occupy your mind but pain. Too. If you could. <laughs> Easy. Easy. That creature's hurting. But we're going to free it. But it will always be chained. You know that as well as I. <sighs> now for the other thing. There may be a way to reach it behind that collapsed debris. with me, aren't you, brother? 
I remember the feeling of a yoke around my neck. I would not wish it upon another. Anything illuminating? a good source of oil for Odin's lanterns. Oil for lanterns? Whatever anger you're feeling, whatever loathing toward me, it's nothing to what I've said to myself. I know. That dock can lead us to the tail. Let's get back to the boat. You never spoke of this creature. Does that surprise you? That an old man would be ashamed of the mistakes he's made. No. Inspiring lyricism from the mind of Kvasia.
Father, is it always moral to kill something that's trying to kill you? Yes. Well, there you have it, lad. Huh. <laughs> 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 
I thought, I'd hoped the creature would be long expired by now. But apparently the Aesir couldn't even be bothered to mercy kill it once it was no longer useful. We could kill it. No. Not when we can save it. Huh. There's such a big bay. There's no fish. Must be because of the smoke from those mining rigs. Good. We can reach the tail from this gulf. You would still save this broken creature. I know what it is to be imprisoned like this. I can't just leave it. And if it is beyond saving? I don't understand. Let us continue. <sighs> Down that rope should take us where we need to go.
What's going on? Maybe it needs a little encouragement. Can you get me closer to its eye for a face-to-face, Bubba? This creature, the mining rigs, their mistakes, Mimir. But it's Odin's fault. That's not an excuse, little one. But thank you for saying it. You great blubbering beast. Shoo! It's not moving. Why is it not moving? It has grown accustomed to its chains. But no. No, we can fix this. We just need to chase it off and scare it. Something. There is no making things right. Only better than they were. the wind blowing on its face. I can feel it. May you provide some comfort. That's not enough. It seldom is. Back to Thor and Odin stories? Where were we? Okay. There was Thamor, the stonemason. Aye. He quarreled with his son. Went into the night to find him. Found Thor instead. And there was Thamor's son, Grimther. Who built the walls of Asgard. And whispered something of importance to Freya before his betrayal and assassination. There was Groa, of course. The knowledge keeper and prophet of Ragnarok. Thor murdered her husband. And Odin covered it up before doing her in himself. You can't forget Amir, the first giant. Odin carved him up to form the realms from his body and let the torrent of his blood nearly drown every giant alive. What about the giants of Jotunheim? They all seemed dead when we finally made it there. That remains a mystery. Well, admittedly, it sounds like the Aesir God's dream. What about Fjorgen? Thor's mother was a giant, wasn't she? Indeed she was. The circumstances of her demise were murky at best, but not sure I can blame Odin for that one. He wasn't the same after. Oh, I know. There was Skadi, the queen of the hunt. Aye, she spurned Odin's affections, so he tricked her into killing her father. There was Starkather the Mighty, the Jotnar military leader. Slandered by Odin, tricked and murdered by Thor. And there was Thrym the Cunning, the giant king who stole Thor's hammer. Odin traded him Freya to get it back, then sent Thor in disguise to murder his entire court. Who else? Ah, room near the Brawler, the stone giant. Aye, mocked by Odin, murdered by Thor. Enough of this. But there's more. I do not care. War with Odin is not the answer.
There's another mining rig on this island, brother. Smell that smoke? Why would the dwarves agree to work for the Aesir in the first place? That's the heart of it, eh? You lied to them. I lied to them. Bet we could swing across that, uh, lift thing. Gantry. Gantry. Thanks. Those bars. Oh, well experimented. Father, up there. Surprised the dwarves didn't shut these rigs off themselves. One or two tried. The Ein Haryar made examples of them. They killed the dwarves? Couldn't you have convinced them not to? Aye. That should help. Yeah, that looks right.
wasn't so hard. Oh, you okay, Mimir? To the blacksmiths of Svartalfheim, the creation of a weapon was a sacred thing. But Odin just wanted as many blades as he could get, as fast as he could get them. With every stolen resource and mediocre blade, the dwarves lost a bit of themselves. What you just picked up there is pure Svartalfheim ore. It won't be of use in the rig anymore, but perhaps our Huldra brothers could craft something from it. <laughs> the dwarf survived because of you. Ah, you're not wrong there, brother. Odin would have wiped out every last dwarf in Svartalfheim. If he couldn't use their skills, no one could. So not all dwarves can do that thing Brock and Sindri do, right? Or they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. <laughs> Probably for the best. <laughs> Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. <laughs> Amir, what do you think it means? Seeing more raiders come back as Hellwalkers lately. I thought freeing the Valkyrie Queen was supposed to restore balance to the realms and keep that from happening. That's a good question, lad, and a troubling one. 
If hell's filled up again, it suggests that something's been hindering Seagrin's efforts. Or perhaps something even more urgent is keeping her distracted and unable to visit. Even occasionally. Yeah. Sorry, Mimir. Skiaffa! Atreus, you are getting better. Faster. I'd even be better than you one day, huh? If you are not, I have failed. Oh. Smell the smoke? There's another mining rig here. You speak of your deeds with shame. Do you regret not allowing Odin to kill them? I do not I don't get it. The doors weren't cleaned up like the Loombacher. Couldn't they quit? And do what? Their newly built forges poisoned the soil of Svartalfheim. <laughs> Unable to grow their own food, they had to buy it from Asgard. <laughs> if they stopped working, they'd be taking food out of their own mouths. Oh, that's clever. And awful. <laughs> Seed to Muspelheim. Think it might lead to that combat arena we visited years ago? What makes you say that? Wishful thinking, I guess. Going through Surtur's gauntlet, it was fun. It was training. You didn't have fun? <clears throat> well, anyway, we should look for the other half of the seed. Once it's whole again, we can see where it leads. <laughs> <laughs> Learn anything? Oh! <laughs> 
Great. Now we can make it across. Right side! Farther! Just keep coming. It's a Bergstra. Spawning a little wretch is like there's no tomorrow. Uh -huh, it will be so. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you could call so meager a task done, a wee drop out of the Asgardian occupational bucket. You must live with your deeds, but do not be troubled by them, brother. Oh? And why not? You were given an impossible problem. Do not blame yourself for failing to solve it. I'm sure the dwarves would feel differently. This doesn't fix things. No, but it is a start. A reminder, brother. That Svartalfheim <clears throat> slag we collected could be of considerable use in the hands of Brock or Sindri. <laughs> <laughs> The air smells a lot cleaner. It's because we shut down the rig. Look, the fish are coming back. Oh, so they are. What's the deal with Odin's ravens? They can just transport him anywhere? Except for the realm between realms, thankfully. Why? Harder to find, thanks to dwarven enchantments and Yggdrasil's very own nature. Hmm. Lucky us. We going to Durland? Hope he'll be happy we fixed those rakes. This is the safety office? Well, the sign a hair's breadth away from a head injury up there certainly gives that impression. <laughs> Where? 
We're looking for Derlin? You have an appointment? Uh, no. Has anyone ever had an appointment here? <laughs> Who'd you collect on something, pal? Think uh, parading a severed head around on your hip is gonna scare me into somehow approving Estrid's accretion proposal, eh? We are looking for a prisoner of Odin's. <laughs> He's being kept in a mine somewhere. Some friends of ours said that you could help. Where did you get... You chop her head off with that too, eh? She was my wife. Dina and I... Wondered where she went after our little coup here failed. Failed? Yeah, come, come. Failed. Faye is dead. Best of them are. One's left alive have to pay the price. I'm afraid <clears throat> I can't help you with your little prisoner situation. But he could have answers on how to stop Odin and free Svartalfine from the Aesir. No, I'm not in the business of crossing the old father anymore. Wait, before you go. Take this. What is it? A fine. Hygiene code violation for improper transport of a rotting head. Uh, two demerits for speaking the old father's given name and, uh, uh, yeah. For fucking up my desk! A fine? Pay it at your leisure, okay? Get out of my office. Hey there. So what about get out of my office? Don't you understand? You said her name was Diener? Oh, uh, sure. Thank you. I think. That head better not be leaking his decay all over my floor. I beg your pardon? Oh, and it talks too. Dino, would you get a load of this? It looks a little familiar too. I've uh, just got one of those faces. Seems to me that's the only thing you've got. We should go. Hey, this isn't a fine. Not now. There are enemies ahead.
Okay. I think Derlin wrote down directions. The dwarf has given us a map. Sort of. Uh, you smell him? But it seems to lead to a mine beyond that mountain. Ah, it's here. Derlin helped us anyway. Not everyone uses axes and arrows to fight. <laughs> Thing looks like it can take us up the mountain. Maybe we'll be able to see a mine up there. Ah, nothing quite like a dwarven train ride. <laughs> 